ng tandaan. Be on the alert. Stand firm in the faith. Act like men. Be strong. Subaybayan ang programang Usapang Lalaki. Our first Wednesday habit. Join the first Wednesday habit at 3.30 p.m. Facebook page, Lay Force, San Lorenzo Ruiz. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer of Pope Francis to Saint Joseph, Patris Corbe. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted His only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life obtain for us grace mercy and courage and defend us from every evil amen in the name of the father of the son and the holy spirit amen hello yes yeah okay Ah, si Sir Noel po ito. Sino po sila? Ah, Joe? Kuya Joe? Ah, hindi. Sino to? Joseph? Cinco? Ah, hindi rin. Ah, Joseph. Joseph Garcia. Sir Joseph! Oh, puti na pa siya ka, Sir Joseph. Oh, Sir. Ah, uh, napansin ko lang na parang meron kayong sineset up dito, Sir. Ano po ba ito? Parang nandito pa yung patron. Ah, Ay, si Saint eh. Joseph. Apo. Ah, Dito tayo live na live tayo ngayon. Ay, At uh, ah, upo ka muna si Sir Joseph. Thank you po. Ah, po. Alam mo Sir Joseph, ah, mag-welcome ka. Nandito tayo ngayon sa Usapang Lalaki, our first Wednesday habit kusan live tayo ngayon sa loob ng Formation Complex. Magandang Pakilala hapon po. Sa kanila. Ako po si Joseph Garcia, ang Head Security na San Carlos Seminary Day Formation Center. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Ah, Sir Joseph, Ang ganda ng pangalan mo. Thank you, sir. Para nakatuon sa pangalan ni San Jose. Yes, sir. Uh, kwento mo naman sa amin, paano mo nakuha yung pangalan Joseph? Ako pala, sir. Uh, late ko na nalaman na kung saan ko na kinuha ng magulang ko yung pangalan, pangalan ko dahil uh, maaga nawala yung mother ko at saka yung father ko. So, nag-work na ako noon na malaman ko na ang birthday ko pala ay eh, ka-birthday ni San Jose manggagawa. So, doon ko na lang po nalaman na A birthday ko po pala siya. Ah, okay. Sir Joseph, uh, sa karanasan mo dito sa loob ng complex, eh, yung pagtatrabaho bilang Chief Security Officer ng, uh, ng BCC CAT, uh, saan ka umuhugot ng mga karanasan ito at mga lakas kung paano mo napapagkagumpayan ang iyong pagsiselbisyo? Uh, una sir, ay uh, sa Panginoon sa taas. Uh, lagi naman sa kanya. Pangalawa, sa pamilya ko at doon sa mga taong uh, laging nakasuporta at nakaalala sa akin. Napansin ko wala ka pang pahid ng abo sa iyong noo. Oh, sir, Alam wala. mo ba ibig sabihin noon? Oh sir, uh, siyempre yan po yung paggunita uh, natin kung saan tayo nagmula at kung saan tayo magtatapos. Ah, kumbaga ang tao ay galing sa lupa oh, opo, sir. magbabalik yes, sir. sa lupa. Sa lupa. Ah, kaya nga dapat tayong mga ano At tao ay huwag manisi yes, ng ating yes, kapa, kundi magsisi tayo sa ating mga kasalanan. Yes, sir. Yes, huwag din tayong manligalig, di ba? Yes, kundi manalig sa poong may kapal. Tama Napakaswerte po. namin dahil ikaw, Sir Joseph, ang nagbibigay sa amin ng proteksyon Thank dito you, sa loob ng complex. Thank you, sir. At kung saan, Sir Joseph, na may ibig sabihin ang pagpapahid ng abo, hindi ba? Yes, Yan sir. ay sakripisyo. Uh, ito ngayong araw nito ay Ash Wednesday. Yes sir. Uh, babatid mo ba 'yon? Yes sir. Oo, oh, 'di ba? Uh, umpisa na ng Lenten season. Yes sir. At kung saan uh, itong ginagawa natin nito ay bunga ng bu 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 bunga ng pagsasakripisyo. 
Kaya nga si Pope Francis eh, nagpapadagdag na ang sakripisyo natin sa araw nito, kung ikaw yung malakas kumain, magbawas Bawas, kumain. Uh, magbawas. Kung ikaw yung tulog ng tulog, puro ka pahinga, magbawas ng pahinga. At ang sakripisyo na yun ay ihalay daw din natin sa nangyayaring gera sa Russia at sa Ukraine. Ukraine. Uh, uh, napaalalahanan mo ba ang iyong pamilya tungkol sa araw nito? Ako na sir, uh, nasabihan ko naman sila na magsimba ngayon dahil as Wednesday na. Ah, good. Nako, alam mo, damandam ako ang presensya ng ating Tatay Jose sa araw na ito. Oh, sir. Sa bawat pag, sa pagkukwentuhan natin, Thank sa mga you, pagsagot mo, sa mga tanong ko, nagbabadya na ikaw ay hindi lamang isang mabuting ama, Thank kundi you, magaling ka rin magbigay ng proteksyon sa iyong pamilya. Yes, sir. Yes. Tulad ni San Jose, ni Tatay Jose, paano niya itinaguyod ang kanyang anak, ang kanyang mahal sa buhay na si Mama Mary, hindi ba? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kaya nga, sa araw nito, kami nagpapasalamat sa iyong pagtulong sa amin at sa BCC Group Welcome Community po. na pag uh, tumbuong complex ay sinisecured ninyo. Welcome Kaya po. maraming salamat. Thank you po. Kaya mga kaibigan, mga kaibigan, sa ating, kung meron kayong gustong itanong, uh, mga comments, questions, suggestion, eh, Tulad mo, yes, sir. sir Joseph, eh, baka may mga katanungan sa mga kaibigan mo, mga pamilya mo, sa community, magsulat lang daw sa chat box. Yes, sir. Dahil tayo ngayon ay nasa ikapitong buwan na ng uh, ating pagbibigay ng titulo sa ating Tatay Jose. No? At uh, dito kung saan meron tayong title na dinidiscuss every month, every yes, first Wednesday, our um, uh, Wednesday habit. Di ba? At unang-una, ang unang buwan na din diniskas natin nung mga panahon na yun, St. Joseph, Minister of Salvation. Yes, yes. Sumunod na buwan ng Merkules, St. Joseph, Patron of the Afflicted. Ikatlo, St. Joseph, Support in Difficulties. Ikaapat, St. Joseph, Patron of the Poor. Ikalima, St. Joseph, Guardian of the Redeemer. Yes, Ikaanim, St. Joseph, Patron of Refugees. Yan yung last Wednesday. Yes, At ngayong Wednesday, Wednesday nito, itong as Wednesday, itong first Wednesday of the month ng March, no? ito na yung ikapito, kung saan i-discuss ng ating tagapagsalita, tagapangasiwa, no? na St. Joseph, Servant of Christ. At ito'y palalalimin ng ating kasama na walang iba kung hindi si Brother Biel yeah. Delgado. Kaya mga kaibigan, naghihintay lang po kami at maramdaman ninyo kung paano si St. Joseph, a servant of Christ. Kamusta po kayo sa ating live telecast or broadcast ngayon, March 2nd, let us go with the injunction given to us by Bishop Pabilio. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, 
Be men of courage and be strong. Sa ating panimula, on this Lenten season 2022, Koresma, gampanan natin ang paglilinis at hindi ang pagpapa ng kapaligaran, ngunit ang paghuhusga ng kanyang sariling kalooban. Our interior life is to be more truthful to self. Itigil natin at hanapin to build on and to build up. 40 days po itong ating hinaharap. Para sa hapong ito, Servant of Christ, the seventh injunction, the seventh invocation of St. Joseph, Servant of Christ. Very interesting ho ito. Sa ating kultura, ang ama at hindi ang anak, ang servant. Ang ama, hindi ang anak, ang servant. In the Jewish culture, Jesus as son would serve Joseph, not Joseph serving Jesus. Gaya dito sa atin at ang dapat nating tingnan ay ang kahulugan ng invocation, Servant of Christ. Hindi po pwedeng si Jesus ang nakaupo at nagbibigay ng order sa kanyang ama na si Jose to wait, to serve, and to just be around for him. Ang naranasan natin sa ating pagkakaintindi, sa ngalan ng kasambahay, servant or a personal assistant, kaiba ang ating ka-experience. Ang ating eksperyensya ay ang ama, ang superior sa amo. But in this particular invocation, we see that Joseph is the servant of Christ. Maganda hong pagnilaya natin ito. Hindi po pwede na sa ating eksperyensya na ito ang gagamitin nating paradigm. Joseph was not the servant of the person who was seen by the community as his son. He is the servant of the Christ, the Anointed One, the Chosen One. Joseph faced a heartbreaking dilemma. His life was in turmoil because he loved Mary so much. He's welcoming the angel's message, the message that he has been for him. How quickly he acted, allowed himself to follow his heart and not allowing his sense of legal obligation to rule. Our mother Mary has her fiat. Joseph responded in obedient action, in words. Joseph has his facet, action of love, as he did it. I'd like to show you a, an art card that can more or less look and show the flow of our time this afternoon. Joseph the carpenter is the builder, is the one who created the home of the Holy Family in Nazareth. It must have been that Joseph also created a home in Egypt while there were in exile. Joseph lived his life in a way that enabled Jesus to become the Christ. He protected Jesus, cared for Jesus materially, and educated him. In short, in being a good father, Joseph became the servant of the Christ. I would invite our brother Matt to join me now in this short exchange in terms of the seven 
descriptions of Patres Corde that no less than Pope Francis did make mention. Pope Francis in his letter, Patris Corde, did mention seven as the beloved father, the tender loving father, the courageous tatay, obedient father, accepting father, creatively courageous father, and of course, a working father. Ano ho sa pito na ito ang napili nyo na pwede nating magbigyan ng nilay in uh, terms of Joseph as the servant of Christ? Kanina yung mention, uh, natapang po na lahat, no? Yung mention yung salitang uh, loving father. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, as far as I can recall, no? Uh, because before uh, Brother Bien, uh, I used, we used to live in Makati, mm -hmm. no? somewhere in Palanan area, and our former uh, parish was St. Joseph the Worker Parish. Ah, that's interesting. <laughs> so we always celebrate uh, March, 19 March 19 and May 1 as a fiesta. Mm -hmm. Not only that, uh, I am really very grateful to St. Joseph because I believe, no, in spite that we left uh, Palanan sometime 1987, it transferred to Canyon City, he still, uh, uh, I think he, he still helped me mm -hmm. uh, being a father to my children. Mm -hmm. Because during the time, my wife was working abroad. And I'm very happy because March 19 of year 2000, my eldest daughter graduated from college, college. on the feast day of St. Joseph. Saint Joseph. Okay. That is why until now, I'm very grateful. And in fact, last uh, last Saturday, her friends, no, her batchmate, they, they, are, they were only four. Mm -hmm. They met after two years that they were able to meet each other. So, I, I greeted them and told them, I'm very happy because for the past so many years, you are still having your reunion. And they uh, responded, Thank you, Papa, we miss you. <laughs> so, I, I believe, no, because of uh, St. Joseph, uh, I was able to, 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 to learn something from him mm -hmm. as a loving father. Mm -hmm for me to be able to be a loving father all to my children. Yes. Napakaganda sa laysayin na naibigay, naipahagi sa atin ni Brother Matt. Ako naman po ay magustuhan ko ang description ni Pope Francis as, as the obedient father. Hindi lang po obedient si San Jose sa kanyang pagtungo at paggawa kapag nadinig na niya ang tawag o ang mensahe. Sa praktikal na pangyayari, may karanasan ho ako na kailangang sundan at ganapan. And it was a vivid experience uh -huh. of how one here on earth can become an obedient father. Ang situation na nasa sabi ko is when I was invited to become a lay uh -huh. director <laughs> of lay force, bringing into account my own simple experiences from the corporate world. Uh -huh. It was a time that you know I was gainfully employed, but the invitation was to come serve and be part of what is now. Lay force. And so it is in that regard na nakabalik ko ako ngayon dito. <laughs> and I'd like to highlight St. Joseph really as a obedient father. Ano pa ho ang napupulsohan nyo? Tender loving father? Or uh, accepting an uh, accepting father? Oh, no, no. A creatively courageous father? The last part. Working was... father? 
Father in the Shadows. Father in the Shadows. I think that one also. Because uh, when my children were growing up, most of the time I'm, I'm out of the house. Mm -hmm. no? So I only see, get to see them every evening. Sometimes I leave our house very early in the morning and come back night time. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I do is I always call them, mm -hmm. uh, check them, how are they. And what I do is, on the time that I have no assignment, not because of lay force, I will try not only to be a shadow, but to be a cooking father for, for all of them. And until now, because of the pandemic, I am no longer a uh, shadow father, but a present father doing the cooking most of the time at home. Yes, very nice. A father who works in the home. Yeah, who works in the home. Works in the home. The fatherhood of Joseph, ang pagkakasabi nila ay hidden. Hidden. Nakatago. Gawa ng siya yung gawa ng gawa. At ang Birheng Maria bilang isang ina, ang nating nabigyan ng ukol sa kanyang gawain sa pagpapalaki ng anak. That he had learned to live Ito po yung adage na nasabi, Fathers are not born, but are made. A man does not become a father simply by bringing a child into the world, but by taking up the responsibility to care for that child. Whenever a father accepts responsibility for the life of another in some way, he becomes a father to the person. These are just three of the seven uh -huh. descriptions that Pope Francis gave as far as his Patres Corder writings are concerned. I'd like to end our time so as to give segment for the question and answer in saying, in short, Joseph became a servant of Christ with the child Jesus, with the home that he created in Nazareth to be the house of tomorrow, wherein Jesus is to become the way, the truth, and the life. The shadow of Joseph became the sketch of Jesus out of which Saint Joseph serves the Christ in Jesus to which a part of Jesus is a Joseph lived as Christ. Amen. Salamat po sa inyo and I think there are now questions Amen. that have uh, come Amen. in. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Plug in ko na to. I'll bring this in. Okay. Yeah. Ah, salamat salamat muna tayo kay Brother Bian. Ha? <laughs> Brother Bian, thank, thank you. you ha? Kasi for, not only for today, but for the past seven months of sharing the wisdom of Tata Jose. Hmm. Secondly, salamat din, uh, Brother Bian, to your uh, wife, Tita Malu, for sharing the book of, which is entitled, encircled by his presence it is the lord and salamat din sa inyong mga viewers na walang sawa mag-share ng ating program at sana patuloy na ma-bless ang inyong kanya-kanyang family sa pangungunan ng mga lalaki sa ating mga tahanan nung inihatid ho ako kanina papunta rito oh Binigyan ho ulit ako ng lima to encourage our viewers and uh, 
the participants of Usapang Lalaki for another participation. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm happy to note of the receipt of the first five when she was interviewed. Uh -huh. Now, I think through lay force, we will have another five to the ones that will be a judge to that's give and uh, participate in our time. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you also. Okay. Uh, Brother Bien, meron akong nabasa dito sa chat box. Babasain ko ha. Sige po. Talagay. <clears throat> Brothers, why is St. Joseph also popular in praying for a holy death? Maganda po yung katanungan na yan. And it has been part of my devotion that now, now that I'm retired. <laughs> See, the picture that we have, yung ating pa pananampalataya sa pagkamatay ni San Jose, e eh, nandun ho yung kanyang anak na si Jesus. Nahawak-hawak yung kanyang kanang kamay. At sa bandang kaliwa ng kanyang kama na kanyang kinararatayan, makikita naman natin ho ang kanyang esposa, the Virgin Mother, who stands directly beside St. Joseph. If that is not a holy death, <laughs> a happy death, <laughs> a happy death, joyful what death. can it be? What can it be? When you are surrounded by your loved ones, yes, your child and your wife or your spouse. I agree. A little reading of St. Joseph revealed that he was prepared. He was prepared for that ultimate moment in time. Uh -huh. That he was so happy that he even wanted to kneel before his son Jesus and ask for forgiveness. It was only Jesus who said, lie down and stay. The ultimate act of humility of a father coming alongside his son to ask for forgiveness is a happy situation for that family. And to be held on your left hand by the Virgin Mother. That's great. Sa bandang huli ho ng ating uh, palabas ngayong araw, Kaya we will flash a very simple prayer in which we can see a nice little prayer of a child. The childhood prayer is Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I give thee my heart and my soul. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, Assist me in my last agony. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, may I breathe forth my soul in peace with thee. Amen. 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 Ako, naku, binobomba na tayo dito. Ang dami ng mga tanong. Maraming sasagot si Brother Bien. Follow up uh, question. Can St. Joseph also be a model for lolos? And can we ask too for his intercession to change the fathers with Bisio? Kasi Brother Bien spoke about responsibility kanina. Certainly. Ako po yung ngayon isang lolo na. Lolo na. And it was in my role as a grandfather that I began to really deepen my devotion to St. Joseph. I began to look into his life in the little that is written about him in scripture but a lot can be interpreted and this has enriched my life as a grandfather and in reflection if i am able to relate to saint joseph i'm able to appreciate my father i'm able to appreciate deeper my grandfather and in this sense between my appreciation of my grandfather and my father, I think this has its impact as well. Yes. To my children, in terms of a devotion to Saint Joseph. Ang pigdibisyo sa 
kabuhayan natin ngayon ay halos katotohanan na nang nangyayari. And I know for a fact that St. Joseph will intercede, will come alongside a father who has his vice that he has to reckon with in order to dispel the terror and the demon that is prevailing upon his life. Don't be ashamed. Admit the vice that you have, that one has, and call upon St. Joseph to assist and be with us at this time. Wow. Thank you. Talking, talking about vices, no? Oh. Uh, before I used to smoke a lot and drink a lot. But uh, when we transferred to Kayon City, I wanted to be uh, somewhat a role, fa role model father and hopefully a role model grandfather to my apo. So what I did is, first I did away with smoking mm -hmm. and then drinking. Because we need to be a good uh, example or model so that they can emulate the good things that we are doing. Oh, ang galing naman Tito Mat. Na-experience niya at nasishare niya yung mm -hmm. pagiging mulat. No? Nakikita niya sa pagiging responsibilidad bilang ama. Nako, ito, Brother Bien, sim simple thought lang, simple at thought. Makaama po kaya si Jesus o makaina? <laughs> Maganda po yung tanong. tanong na yan. I am sure in terms of Jesus that He appreciates both Mary and Joseph. In our modern practice, ito ho yung tinatawag nilang parenting. The warmth is provided by our Blessed Mother. And yet, the food on the table is provided by the working Father. Between the warmth of the heart and food on the table, pagka ho na pagsama to, makakikita natin ho ang home of Nazareth. The home of Nazareth is something that we can begin to see as really a cooperation between the role of the father and the role of the mother and the way the son Jesus moves to imitate and be educated by both the mother and the father. So, hindi ho makaama o makaina. Ngunit papano niya naramdaman how he felt the love and care of Joseph as he is a man that he grew up to be. Later on, when Joseph died his happy death, nakita naman ho natin papano umalaga at gumabay yeah. ang kanyang ina all the way to the cross. And if the pieta is something that yeah. we can vividly see, that is the ultimate love and sacrifice that the mother can give. Okay. Sabi nga ho nila na si San Jose daw ho, baka daw tinawag three years before the public ministry. Maybe. Eh baka hindi ho makatindig daw sa ilalim ng Cruz. So, Cruz. Yep. At ang pangalawa, kung nakita niya yung anak niya na huhulihin na sa, hindi pa pa, sa Getsemane, eh baka hindi ho yung disipulo ang pumiglas ng ano. Baka ho baka siya yung kumuha at pinutol yung tenga. Yeah. Baka, and so, baka hindi lang tenga, brother Ben. <laughs> <laughs> so these are things that are not in scriptures written. Yep. And yet, in our own rumination, sa ating pagninilay-nilay, bakit kaya namatay ka agad si San Jose as Jesus was going yeah. into his public ministry? Siguro, karanasan ko yung mga tatay hindi kayang ma maano yung kanilang mga anak, maabuso o maparusahan ng ibang tao kundi siya lang. Kaya siguro siya na nauna. No, no. Brother ben. Ah, another comment, Brother Bien. Nandito, Brother Bien, maganda po yung mga pictures every Wednesday na pinapakita mo with beautiful reflections. How do you do it po? <laughs> it was in uh, December of 2021. When I was inspired to simply write, anandyan nga ho yung collection of uh, art cards, it started very simply. 
out of scripture, a little look at the life of St. Joseph motivates me to write two or three liners. This was later on compiled in what is now a photo grid and later on now in, a <laughs> in an art card, art card where in the cooperation between what you write and how it can best express can come in. Ang isang descriptive line na na-receive ko ho is how the picture can best talk yeah. can best talk of what is written. If these are feedbacks that I get every now and then, it is something that inspires. Natapos ko na ho ng cooperation ng win this day, when this day, when is day for St. Joseph. Okay. And as Patris Corde ended in December 8th, the word was to continue. You honor my spouse at ang sabi, continue. And I was given or received a title na win this day. Para hubang bisaya na when is day. Pero win this day with Father St. Joseph. And very specific ho yung nasabi. Delve on life lived. Delve on life lived. Bigyan ng ukol ang pamumuhay sa ating buhay niya. And so now, um, I'd like to share that through lay force and usapang lalaki, our series, the seven series, yeah. is now on art card form. Art, yeah. One or two of those are now were flashed earlier. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is something that I just joyfully want to share. Alam ho kung sino yung gumawa at nagbigay ng graphic description. But I think my friend wants to remain as she is in the background and in the way that she has helped bring this about. Win this day will continue. And I believe the inspiration to continue and move on is there. Mary, may I ask, at the bottom of every picture, Opo. there is, I think, a date. Yes. 06, yeah. uh -huh. 26, and 51. <laughs> okay. Ano po ba ibig sabihin? At the bottom side. At the bottom side. Mukhang nahuli ako. <laughs> Artwork can best be put a signature. Dito ho, ayaw naman namin ilagay ang pangalan. Kaya yan ang ilagay ho namin. Win this day. Win this day. 060651. Ayun. Oo, oh, ito pa, Brother Bien. <laughs> Habang nakatingin ako kay St. Joseph, kasi may katanungan dito. Why does St. Joseph carry a, leli, a lily? Yan. Ay, Pero nga siyang hawak. Oh. Magandang so, katanungan. Oh, at malalim ang pagkakaintindi natin. Yan. It was a response to an invitation in the synagogue of Nazareth when all the bachelors were invited each one was given a stock mm. each one was given a stock that the stock that will bloom will be the person the bachelor that will be betrothed to our blessed mother si San Jose noon talagang mahal na mahal na ang Birhing Maria na 14 years old mm. And he was probably 30 years old. So, makikita natin ang mga 16-year difference. difference. And yet, when the miracle of the stock gave its flower to it, what great rejoicing mm, I agree. for Joseph to be the one chosen, not of his making, but as a miracle that was manifested. The lily in itself spoke to who the person of Joseph is. So, hindi lang ho basta tungkod, tungkod. na walang kalamnan pero nagbigay buhay 
ang tungkod na walang buhay. Ang dami kong natututunan, <laughs> ang daming nadidiscover. Pero side comment lang po nandito si ang ating kapatid na si Adela Yap. Sabi oh. niya, good afternoon po sa dalawang magiting nating ama. Ayan. Na? Brother Bien and Brother Matt, what message can you offer to our mga kabataang lalaki? Ikaw muna, Brother Matt. Uh, Ate Adele, thank you for asking. Ah. Siyempre, first and foremost, uh, dahil pandemic, stay put sa bahay. Ngayon, pag mayroong, uh, may klase kayo, uh, gawin muna yung mga modules. Mag-appear tayo dun sa sa visual, no? Hindi yung, kunyari, naka-on pero hindi kayo nanood doon. Magdasal, tapos pag andyan ng mga magulang, may sinasabi, makinig. Because wala tayong matutunan kung hindi tayo marunong makinig sa ating mga magulang. And, uh, admittedly, ang daddy, ang tatay, papa, nakakamali rin paminsan-minsan. No? And, nobody is perfect, kaya, kung nagkamali man kami, I hope we fathers also learn how to apologize, no? say sorry. Ayusin natin ng bagay-bagay. And uh, habang anyan pa mga magulang, please see to it, no? uh, nare-respect sila, nakapakinggan sila, at saka yung konting, ano naman, yung konting pag, uh, pagtulong, no? appreciation ng ginagawa sa atin ng ating mga magulang, especially si daddy. After all, may kanya-kanya tayong time frame. Kaya, uh, mahalin ang mga magulang habang buhay pa sila. Maganda hong pag-ukol ang nabigay ni Brother Matt. Kukunin ko na po ngayon yung ukol naman para sa ama. In this pandemic, we are in close watch by our children. Marami po tayong pwedeng sabihin, pero bantayan natin yung ating paggawa. Yeah. Baka sabihin natin, ay magdasal kayo. Tapos pagka magdadasal, eh, tayo so, naman yung nasa lipa. Nagkaano. Uy, punta tayo sa simbahan. Pagdating natin sa simbahan, ganito ang gagawin. So my word of advice is, be a father as a father to your children. The fatherhood is beyond the fact na kayo ang naging ama ng bata. The fatherhood, our fatherhood, goes beyond that, especially in the education, in the rearing, in the preparation of our children who they are to be. Sa ating topic ko ngayong hapon, Saint Joseph is the servant of Christ. Naging serbe, servant, kasamahan, kasama. Si San Jose ni Jesus. Because of the life lived. Not because of what Saint Joseph said. After all, nothing was written about him yes. or recorded for him. But by the very act that Joseph did in the house of Nazareth with Jesus and Mary. Jesus picked up the wordless but the loaded action of Joseph to become who he is in public ministry. Ito, may Thank side you. comment pa ulit. Siguro kakilala ka nito, Sir Brother Bien. Sabi niya, Good afternoon po, Sir Bien. So nice to hear from you again from Josa Joy Mendoza. Alam <laughs> <laughs> pa. Tapos, meron pa isa para sa mga ano natin. Sige, baka i- Pati ho yung, pati ho yung huling nagtanong. Mukhang kakilala ko rin. Familiar yung pangalan. Yeah. Ay, Adela. Yeah. Regards to Buboy. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ito pa. Is there a role of St. Joseph in the Incarnation, Brother Bien? The fullness of Incarnation without the cooperation of St. Joseph would not have to come into full fruition. Yeah. Ayun po. Yeah, good. Meron nga pong incarnation eh hindi naman sumama si San Jose sa plano ng Panginoon. 
but the fullness of incarnation acquired its meaning as he said with this action yes yeah. ako ang magiging ama ako ang ama ng anak Jesus galing ang ganda ang mga naririnig natin kay brother Bien ang lalalim at ito pang isa pang guru baka last na tong tanong natin na to, no brother Bien and brother Matt Nag-try naman po ako maging mabuti, pero my wife left me. How can St. Joseph assist me in my agony? Huwag <laughs> ka muna, uh, Brother Matt. Mukhang may experience ka yata dyan. Grabe. Uh, brother, uh, thank you for asking. Uh, hindi tayo nagkakaiba ng minagdaanan. Kanina ay mention, no? My wife uh, worked abroad. But uh, sad to say, hindi na siya bumalik. So like you, solo parent din ako, iniwan din ako ng asawa. Pero I, I, I believe St. Joseph helped me a lot no? to be uh, a solo father to my children. Huwag kang mawawalan ng pag-asa. No? Uh, ako, I was able to survive. Nagawa ko yung siguro yung dapat kong gawin. Uh, huwag kang mawawalan ng pag-asa call on St. Joseph and uh, I believe he will help you. Just ask his help. Oh, Brother Bian, ano masabi mo doon? Tiyaga lang ho talaga. Persistent sa ating pananampalataya. Because in the fullness of time, the change of heart will occur. The change of heart. For all you know, the role of the spouse na nagtanong is one to purify clarify yeah. and make more perfect the husband sa nasulat nga ni Saint ni Saint John Paul II when a man and a woman makes fruitful gift of, of self they fulfill the very meaning of their being and existence yung fulfillment of their existence and, and he writes further that Saint Joseph giving the gift of self to Mary and Joseph, Joseph found happiness not in a mere self-sacrifice but of a self-giving. Hindi sakripisyo ang nangyari kay San Jose kung hindi ang pagbibigay ng sarili niya kay Maria at Jesus. To the Father who asked Patuloy niyo pa ibigay ang sarili niyo. And there will be a fruition in time. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. So, medyo masarap magpintuhan. Kaya lang mahaba ang oras natin. No? So, the last part of our uh, program for today, consecration no? to St. Joseph. Pagka talaga kay San Jose, butihing San Jose. Tagapagkalinga ng manunubos, kabiyak ng puso ng mahal na Birheng Maria, pinagkatiwala sa iyo ng Diyos Ama ang kanyang bugtong na anak. Sinalalay sa iyo ni Maria ang kanyang pagtitiwala. Nagkatawang tao si Yeso Kristo sa pakikiisa mo sa kalooban ng Diyos. Kaisa ng Panginoong Yeso Kristo at ng mahal na ina. Pinararangalan ka namin ng may tunay na pag-ibig at buong pagibitagan sa araw na ito, itinatangi ka namin bilang aming ama, aming tagapagkalinga at aming tagapagtanggol. Taglay ang puso nagpapasalamat, kinikilala ka namin bilang dakilang kaloob ng Diyos sa amin upang maging aming kalakbay, guro, huwaran at tagapagtanggol Lumalapit kami sa iyo upang italaga ang aming sambayanan, ang simbahan sa Pilipinas, ang aming mga dioceses, mga parokya at mga pamilya. Sa iyong pag-ibig at pangangalaga bilang ama, itinaguyod at hinubog mo ang buhay ng banal na mag-anak sa Nazaret. Buong kababaang loob naming hinihiling na pagpalain mo po ang lahat ng aming mga pagsisikap 
at tulungan mo kaming itaguyod ang simbahan, ang katawan ni Jesus Cristo, sa isang masunuring pananalig, matatag na pag-ibig, at hindi matitinag na pag-asa sa aming amang mapagmahal. Handa ka laging makinig at tumalima sa kalooban ng Ama. Iniingatan mo si Yesus sa lahat ng panganib. Ipagadya mo kami sa lahat ng panganib na sumisira sa mga aral at mga pinahahalagaan sa diwa ng Ibanghelyo sa aming bansa. Ingatan mo kami habang kami nakikibaka laban sa mga sakit na pisikal at moral sa aming lipunan. Ipinagkakatiwala namin sa iyo ang lahat ng aming mga inaasam at inahangad para sa ipagkakamit ng kaligtasan. Iniyabili namin sa iyo ang lahat ng mag-anak, ang mga ama upang makatupad sila sa kanilang bukasyon. Na sumasalamin sa pag-ibig ng ating ama sa langit. Basbasan mo ang lahat ng aming pagsisikap na makatulong sa aming kapwa na nasa kapigatian. Sa iyo, San Jose, matapos kina Jesus at Maria, ang aming itina talaga, ang aming katawan at kaluluwa. Anuman kami at anuman ang nasa sa amin. San Jose, maging ama ka rin nawa sa amin. Patnubayan mo kami sa landas ng buhay. Ipamantuho mo kami upang magkaloob kami ng biyaya, awa, tibay ng kalooban. Sa ipagsanggalang mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. 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 Maraming maraming pong salamat muli. No? Uh, next time, kita kita tayo no? sa April. No? Salamat po. Huwag kayong magsasawa. God bless us all. Oh, Bye-bye.